Hey hi and welcome back. Now let's start with this video which is introduction to layout editor part 3. So now let me tell you what you will learn in this video. So till now we have completed lot of tools and now we are just remained with some of the tools. Now let me show you what tools we are going to cover in this video. So these are the tools that we are going to cover in this video. The first one is polygon, then the second one is text, then the radnest, dimension, then ERC tool and in the end warnings. Okay. So these are basically the tools that we are going to cover in this video. Now let's start with this polygon tool. After that the next option is polygon option. So at this moment let's not discuss this polygon option. Okay. So first of all I will explain this text option and later I will uh, explain this radnest option. And after that, uh, I will explain you this polygon option because in order to uh, explain this polygon option, you should know this ratnest option. Okay. So first of all, let me explain this text option and later I will explain this ratnest and then polygon. Okay. Now, you know, when, when you create the PCB, for example, you are creating a PCB for your company. Then after completing the PCB, you are going to, uh, you know, write the name of that particular company, right? So in that case, you have to use this particular option, which is text option. So you have to select that option and uh, after that I will write the, uh, I will write some text here and after that I will click on OK. Now here you can see the cipher to infinity text is basically on the copper layer or it's on the top layer. But generally you know when you place the name on the PCB, it's actually not going to be on top layer. Okay. So we actually use this layer which is actually called as T names which stands for top names. Okay. T stands for the top layer and the names uh, stands for the names on the top layer. So these are different layers which are actually available in the layout editor. And what are those layers and what's their significance? Uh, I'm going to discuss all these things uh, in the part three. So at this moment, just remember that whenever we place the name on the PCB, we are actually going to place it on the T names layer. Okay. So I will select this one uh, layer number 25 T names. And after that, I will place it here. Okay. I will just left click of mouse. And after that, in order to get rid of this name, I will click the escape. Okay. And then again, this dialog box will appear and here we have to click on cancel. Now let's see how exactly this name look like on the manufacturing or on the PCB. So you can see this is how basically uh, the name look like. Okay. So that's how you can actually name your PCB with the help of this text option. All right. So after that, the next option is ratnest option. Okay. So let me explain this option now. Now here you can see on this, on this uh, layout editor, there are actually two registers R4 and R3. First of all, let me bring them on the top layer. It's because it's a little confusing. So I will bring them on the top layer. Uh, again, this register, I will bring it on the top layer and let me rip up these tracks. Okay. So I will just rip up these tracks. Okay. And after that, uh, again, this one is remained. All right. So basically, you know, when we use the ratnest option, whenever we have to resolve the connections or whenever we have to create the shortest path for, uh, for a specific connection. So I will explain you that now. Now here, if you see this register R4 is placed here. Okay. And now what I will do, I will place this register R4 uh, here. Okay. And after that, I will place this register R3 here. Okay. So just let me place this register R3 here. Okay. Now, if you see this connection is actually going from this pad towards this R4 and then from R4, it's going towards the R3. So it could be like this. If it has to be a shortest connection, then it has to uh, go from this pad towards this pad and then towards this pad. But at this moment, this connection is like this. So when you click on this ratnest option, it's going to resolve that connection and it's going to form the shortest path. Okay. So whenever, you know, we create the layout, this particular option is actually very important. Okay. After placing a component at a suitable location, after every placement, you have to click this particular option in order to resolve the connection. So I will, I will show you one more time. So let me place uh, this register. Um, uh, let me place it here. Okay. And uh, after that, uh, let me place this register R4 here. Now, if you see, uh, this is basically the shortest connection, but it went like this and then it came towards this R4. 
Now let's see what happens when I click this rightness option. So you can see the connection is going from this pad towards this pad. Okay, then from here to here. So whenever you select this rightness option, it's actually going to, you know, create the shortest connection. So this is basically one of the purpose of this rightness option. All right. So we are done with the rightness option. Now let me explain you this polygon option. Now, what's the purpose of this polygon option? You know, whenever we have to create the plane on the PCB, at that time we actually use this polygon option. Now, why we create the plane? Okay, we actually create the plane on the PCB to you know distribute the current, or whenever we have to distribute the heat dissipation on the PCB, at that time we actually create the plane. Generally, you know, we create the plane for the ground ground pad or for the ground. Okay, or we also create the plane for the uh, different power rails like plus five volt, three point three volt, in order to deliver the right amount of current or large amount of current to that particular IC or that particular component. Now straight away, I will show you how exactly we create the plane with the help of this polygon. So I will select this option now. First of all, I will select the layer. I will go to top layer here. After that, I will select this polygon option. And in order to create the uh, polygon, I will just left click of mouse and straight away I will create a small plane. So this is how basically I will create the plane. Uh, you can draw the plane of any dimension and any size. It's up to you. And you just have to close the plane from the point uh, where you started. Okay. So I will left click of mouse and now it's asking me what will be the name of that particular plane. So I will give the name as ground plane. Okay. As I want to create a ground plane. Okay. If you want to create a plus five volt plane or 3.3 volt plane, you can do that. Okay. But at this moment, you know, in our schematic, we don't have the plus five volt rail or 3.3 volt rail. So if you write the name of, you know, five volt or 3.3 volt, the plane will not be created, but uh, we have the symbol for the ground in this schematic. That's why if I write ground here, then that particular plane will be created. Okay. So I will write here GND. And after that, I will click on OK. Again, I will show you why I have written GND. So you can see here the polygon is now created. And if I click on rightness, then that particular polygon will be actually poured. Okay. And if you observe here, this polygon is actually connected to this particular pin of this IC. The reason is this particular pin is actually the ground pin in the schematic editor. So you can see this is actually the ground pin. That's the reason this plane is actually connected to this particular pin. Okay. So I hope that this is clear now. So whenever you have to create the plane on the layout or on your PCB, you will use this particular option, which is polygon. And with the help of this polygon option, we will create the plane. And this is how basically the plane is going to look like. And if you observe this particular plane is actually only connected to this pin of this IC. It's not connected anywhere else. Okay. In the same way, uh, this plane is not connected to the other pins of this IC and then again to this register. So everywhere it's not connected except at this particular point, because this point is the ground point on this IC. And you know, when we created this polygon at that time, I have given the signal name as GND. The reason was you can see here, the symbol name is GND instead of this ground. If we had a power symbol of uh, plus five volt here, then in that case, we would have provided the signal name as plus five volt. Okay. So I hope that this particular point related to polygon is clear now. And if you still have any doubt, then you don't need to bother about it because when we will create the layout for our hardware at that time, this point will be clear to you. All right. So after that, now let's go ahead. So these options are actually not that important signal split. Yeah, split option is actually important. So I will show you uh, what's the purpose of this split option. So I will show you how exactly we split. So first of all, let me uh, delete this plane. So I will just click on the edge of this uh, plane and you can see uh, polygon is actually now deleted. Now, if you have to split this polygon, then we actually use this option split option. So I will just left click and you can see the polygon is now splitted and I can redraw that particular polygon in the way I want. Okay. So that's how, and in order to get rid of this, uh, this, uh, polygon, I will just click on escape. Okay. So that's basically the purpose of this split option. I hope that it's clear now after that, these all options are actually not that important. So I'm just going to skip these options. Okay. 
then the next option here is dimension so dimension option is actually important so i will explain you that so whenever you have to know or whenever you want to know the dimension of the pcb or you want to know the distance between the two components in that case you can actually use uh, this dimension option okay so i will select this option and now let's see the size of this layout board or this this particular board so i will select uh, i will click on the left uh, left click of the mouse at this point okay and after that i will click uh, i will extend it and i will go at this point so yeah and after that you can see the dimension or the length of uh, this particular layout is actually 100 mm okay so right now it's in mm and this was the length now let's see what's the width so again i will go to this center point i will left click and let me extend uh, till this point and uh, uh, i will left click at this point okay and now let me extend it uh, here so you can see with the free version of the eagle software you can see this is basically the free, free version of eagle software so with free version of eagle software we are actually getting a board area of 80 mm cross 100 mm okay and in this board area you can actually create the layout uh, if you try to create the layout outside this area or if you try to increase the size of this uh, you know board layout then maybe actually you will you will actually get an error okay so at this moment we didn't we didn't get the error but when you will try to place the component uh, outside of the uh, 100 cross 80 mm area then you will actually get the error okay so that was the dimension option and then erc option we have already discussed this particular option is actually related to the schematic editor and i told you at appropriate time i will explain you uh, this erc errors option in detail when we are done with the schematic of Uh, uh the hardware that we are going to de uh, design in this training so at that time i will explain you the schematic error option so at this uh, at this moment let's not discuss this erc option okay then the next option is related to drc which stands for de uh, design rule check so uh, i am not explaining you this option at this moment okay because uh, it's not the right time to discuss this particular option so i am not discussing this option here uh, but uh, quickly if i have to tell you DRC actually stands for design rule check in this panel we actually set the design rules for example uh, how many layers uh, pcb you are you want to create in this uh, layout editor so that information you have to set here then what will be the clearance between the two tracks so that information uh, you have to set here then what will be the distance between uh, from the edge of the pcb then to the uh, to the track so how close this track can be uh from the edge of the pcb that dimension you have to set here so all these dimension okay you have to set uh, set in these dif uh, different uh, you know options which are given here okay so generally i try to keep the default uh, options here i don't uh, touch uh, these options or i don't change the values in these all options okay so again here i'm just going to keep all these default uh, settings okay and that's all about the drc which stands for design rule check uh with the help of this panel we we can actually set the rules for our design okay so i hope that that's clear now then the next option is errors okay so these errors are actually related to the layout editor whatever errors you will get in this layout editor you have to resolve all those uh, all those error first and then only you have to send the pcb or the data uh, of the pcb to the manufacturing house okay otherwise you will get lot of problems okay never send your pcb without resolving all these errors so at this moment i am not discussing all these stuffs in detail whenever we will complete our layout uh, for the hardware at that time i will discuss uh, all these uh, errors uh, step by step okay and uh, let's let's let me close this dialog box at this moment so that was all about the layout editor and i hope that every single thing that we discussed in this layout editor is now clear to you so most of the options these all options were actually similar to uh, the options that we discussed in the schematic editor then this is the route option rip up option so polygon rightness so these were some of the you know important options from the layout uh, editor point of view and i hope that uh, all these options are actually now clear to you now in next video we will discuss the layers uh, which are actually available 
in this uh, layout editor so i will walk you through all the layers not all the layers but the important layers okay so that's what i wanted to tell in this video i hope that every single thing that we discussed in this video is now clear to you and if you still have any kind of doubt related to any of the tool which is actually present in this layout editor then definitely you can ask me and i will try to help you with that okay all right so that's what i wanted to tell in this video now i will see you in the next video which is about introduction to layout editor part 4